I bought uh, several bags of uh, Royal Oak Club charcoal, which I need to crush into smaller pieces. This is a lump charcoal, which is very big lumps, and I need to break it into smaller pieces and then activate it into biochar. I've tried a lot of different ways of doing that, and none of them have worked so far. So I'm going to try a new one today, and we'll see how it works. I have this DK2 uh, chipper. It's an OPC 506 model, but it's a, a large one. It has a chute on it that uh, when it chips things, the, the hopper uh, takes them in and chips them, and it throws it out to chute here. So I rigged up this tube that I'm hoping will catch the wood chips or the charcoal chips and dump them down into this trash can which is lined with a plastic bag. So this is the uh, newest approach I'm going to try to making uh, biochar. So we'll see how this works. Now when this thing starts up it's very noisy so I'll probably mute, mute the sound uh, because you won't want to hear it but I'll leave it on when I first start it and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, at the very least, we made a lot of dust, so uh, I'll uh, take this off the stand and we'll look in the uh, barrel and see what we have. Okay, let's look at this charcoal. That worked better than I thought it would. It's very finely ground, so I think it's a success. Well, that worked better than I thought. I uh, now have four bags of chopped charcoal that I can start activating and making into biochar. And my goal was to get this such that it would go through a half inch screen. And I think that that easily 
will uh, go through a half inch screen. I don't see any large pieces in these bags at all. So my next step now is to activate this charcoal and turn it into biochar so I can put it into the uh, beds, the uh, garden beds this winter and have it ready for uh, production next spring. So I have uh, four bags. I have three of the original bags full and then I have the plastic bag that I started with full. So that's a lot of charcoal and now that I know how easy it works I may uh, buy some more of them. I bought these on sale and they may be on sale again. There's a lot of dust on the uh, chipper that uh, it seemed to find all the cracks in the welds but uh, it did a beautiful job of uh, chopping up the charcoal so we're going to call this a success. I dumped uh, one of the bags of the charcoal after it was shredded through the uh, chipper into this uh, plastic tote here and now I'm going to start activating it and turn it into biochar. What I'm going to add is some uh, fish emulsion. This is uh, Indian River Organics uh, fish fertilizer and some EM1 uh, microorganisms and I'm also going to add uh, some earthworm castings that I have and uh, have about an equal amount of those as I do the uh, uh, charcoal. And then I'll uh, add water to that and liquefy this, get it totally soaked in water, and then we'll let it set for several days, uh, stirring it each day, and it'll turn into uh, a biochar, and then it'll be ready to go in the garden. Okay, before I start putting the liquid in, I'm gonna add some uh, worm castings to this and get that started. I'm going to add about a cup of uh, fish fertilizer and a cup of uh, effective microorganisms. That will bring the uh, microorganisms in and activate the uh, uh, worm castings. And that will get these, uh, this uh, charcoal activated so it will become biochar. microorganisms is one that I made by uh, activating the mother and uh, I always have some handy yeah, we have a little left so I'll go ahead and add the rest of that rinse out this cup Okay, I'm going to stop this uh, video for just a few seconds while I run out and fill up the uh, water can with water. Okay, we have the watering can, that's two and a half gallon watering can filled with uh, water. And now we'll soak this down. And as soon as we get this emptied in here, we'll stir this up and make sure that uh, we get it evenly distributed. And I'll add more water if I need to make sure everything is totally covered. The good thing about putting the worm castings on top of the uh, charcoal is it eliminates all the dust that normally flies out when you uh, are working with the charcoal. Still see a lot of dust in there. So it's going to take a little more water to get that soaking down in there. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to go get another watering can full of water and uh, soak this down again. Charcoal is an extremely dry product and it takes a lot of water to get it liquefied and get it soaked up. And uh, you want it to completely soak up all the water and uh, get every cell in the charcoal full of water so that it uh, develops the mic or uh, moves the uh, microbes into those cells. And then when that activated charcoal is put in the garden, it's already activated and ready to go to work with the uh, microbes. That's five gallons of water in here so far, and it's nowhere near enough to soak all this charcoal up. I'll go get another uh, bucket of uh, water and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we got another bucket of water and we'll add some more to this. When activating this charcoal to make biochar, it's important to steer it once or twice a day to keep it from becoming anaerobic. Uh, you don't want it to get uh, without oxygen and become anaerobic.
what's coming up from the bottom is a lot of the charcoal that isn't mixed with the uh, worm castings. And that's important to get that all totally mixed together so that it fully integrates all of the uh, worm castings and the uh, charcoal together to uh, make it rich biochar. I've used a biochar for probably 10 years in the gardens, and every time I build a new garden, I make sure to add biochar to get it jump started with all the microbes it needs to get uh, healthy soil and healthy plants. I've got about enough liquid now, and the uh, charcoal, which is extremely dry, will gradually soak up that liquid, and I'll have to add more water to it to uh, keep it liquefied, and I'll do that for a couple days, and then I'll uh, be able to just let it set. So that is one of the four bags of uh, lump charcoal that was shredded uh, through the chipper and it's now being activated to make it into biochar and uh, then I'll have three more bags to do the same process and I have to do them one at a time uh, so that I don't uh, uh, overload the tote. It's the only uh, tote big enough I have for uh, this uh, uh, amount of charcoal. So that's the process of activating the biochar. And uh, in a couple days, about three days, this will be ready to go on one of the new beds that I have set up and it'll be ready to uh, get that bed ready for next spring's planting. So if you have any questions about activating the biochar or uh, using the biochar, post them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.